So here I'm going to demonstrate the deformer and history uh, editor in the Ninja Mesh tools. So here we have some polygon primitives. So I'll create a sphere. Um, you'll see that it just makes a sphere with a radius of 1. Um, so let's add a FFD deformer and let's move that. So now we have a sphere with a FFD deformer. Um, you can go into the history list and turn that on and off or you can freeze it and thaw it. Um, I'll show you the difference between freezing and thawing opposed to turning it off. Um, so we'll create a box and we will let's add some subdivisions what we'll 10 subdivisions um, what we'll 10 subdivisions and we'll uh, show all the objects so now we have this box now let's say we want to add this deformer to that box. So what we want to do is select the deformer first and then the box second and just click add deformer. Now this box has the FFD deformer you can turn on and off. And if we show all then we can actually just freeze the deformer per object so the box still has the FFD deformer um, on it while the sphere it's been frozen and you can thaw it um, so let's freeze this guy and let's add another deformer a taper and we will taper this in like this so so now you have the flare or tape or whatever, and you can freeze that too, or thaw it on that object. And let's thaw that. So now you have the taper and the FFD. Another thing you can do is sort the deformation. So if you want the flare above the FFD, then you can move it up or move it back down. Um, that's how the, the deformer or the deformers work. Um, so let's go and let's just extrude these faces out like so. And now you have this poly extrude face in the history where you can turn it on and off. So you can turn all of these off and now you have, yeah, you can kind of see it kind of works like how the 3D Studio Max uh, stack works, but for Maya. Um, you can see some things you can't freeze and thaw because they just, I filter out what you can and can't freeze. So that is how the history editor works.